Riff XR. This game is something special. It's the closest thing to the Oasis from Ready Player One, and I encourage all of you to try it yourself. I know some of you are skeptical right now, but we're gonna talk about why you should try this. Just to keep this genuine, I'm not being paid to make this video, it's not sponsored, but I do work for the company that's making this game. I didn't always work for them, but I genuinely believe in what they're trying to do and I wanted to help them out. I wasn't asked to make this video either, I'm doing it purely because I wanna tell you how awesome this game is. First, let's talk about what even is an Oasis. What is the metaverse? Because I feel like a lot of people have different definitions of what this is. Maybe you picture it as Horizon Worlds, where it's like a chat room and you can work with people, or VR chat with all their avatars and customization. In my definition of the Oasis, I always thought of it as like all the customization of VR chat with their worlds and avatars, but a MMORPG with skills, leveling, dungeons, PvP, all that stuff. Even in the book of Ready Player One, there was combat. People fought enemies and other players. It was an MMORPG. That is what Rifex are is. It's not a chat room, it's not a social VR game, it's definitely blending elements of that, but this is a full VR MMO that I think a lot of people have wanted for a long time. Now there has been VR MMO RPGs developed over the last few years, but they were always kind of missing something. Orbis has janky combat, no avatars or custom combat, and you were locked into one class. Zenith was better, they had a cool movement system, but at launch there was no PvP, you were stuck into a single type of combat system like magic, swords, or bow, and again no custom avatars, content, anything like that. But Riff XR is the first one that I feel is nailing this type of VR MMO that people want. You're not stuck into a class, you can level up any skills you want just by doing stuff. You can increase your movement speed by doing jumping puzzles, increase sword fighting by using swords, there's magic, laser swords, even punching with your fists. And there's PvP duels. You can do this anywhere on the fly with people and it's so much fun. You even get XP by beating them. And you can even upload your own custom avatar or make your own worlds. There's an Unreal Engine 5 SDK, so you can bring over your own VR chat avatar, but have RPG progression, go into dungeons, level up skills, and collect loot. And all of that is just one aspect of this insane game. Refexar is also probably doing the most with AI right now, and that includes flat games. There are no other games that I know of that implement AI to this degree. There's AI NPCs that will give you quests and remember where you're at in the mission. So instead of having some generic dialogue options, you can go up and say anything. It can be hilarious and also makes dialogue with NPCs a lot more natural and immersive. Cast a fireball, Dr. Disrespect. Ah, uh, bold and brimming with arcane fury. Very well, King Svear. Your desire for immediate fire and vengeance has been noted. There's 360 Dream Deck rooms where you can generate entire worlds around yourself. This is completely mind-blowing in VR, and what you're seeing on the screen isn't doing it justice. There's even 3D ones where it tries to make 3D models from whatever you say. It's absolutely crazy. You can also play D&D with an AI Game Master. I've made a lot of videos in this, but it's a blast to play, either alone or with friends. If they implement the 360 rooms with this, we're looking at complete generative D&D campaigns with visuals. It's endless, you could do anything. There's also so many more awesome features, like an in-game private voice call slash party system. You can call people across loading screens. You don't need Discord, and it works natively on the Quest. That's huge, you can't do that in VR chat. There is something special with Riff XR. I just told you a little bit, but there's a lot in here and the devs are constantly adding new features, new classes, new worlds, AI stuff, and more. Now it is an early access, so keep your expectations in check, but the devs are super active and constantly putting out updates and fixing bugs. In my opinion, this is already more fun than VR chat. And there's more stuff to do in here than looking at a mirror. I can already see someone typing in the comment section, so hear me out. Yes, I know there's activities and games in VR chat too, but there's no long-term progression or RPG elements, and the majority of the player base talks next to mirrors. You can't deny that. So next time you're looking at a mirror in VR chat, I want you to ask yourself, what am I doing right now? Riff XR is what we need in the industry. It's a small team, but they're super passionate, and I genuinely believe that this could be the killer app everyone is waiting for. I have been involved in the VR industry pretty much since the start and have tried every platform trying to be a metaverse or oasis of VR or whatever you want to call it, and Riff in my opinion, is the only one doing it right. They're focusing on the progression and game first and adding state-of-the-art features. I didn't even mention this, there's no monetization, it's all free, there's no microtransactions, no ads, you're getting a massive amount of value and you pay nothing. Go check it out, it's on Steam and App Lab, again keep your expectations in check, it's a free app and they're doing a lot of cool stuff, but if you can see the potential in this game, you're a real one. I'm also on there all the time, so if you go in there, say hello, and I'll personally give you a tour. Thanks for watching, and see you on RiffXR if you check it out.